It's easy for pictures and boxes of pictures to pile up, and that doesn't even include the photos stored on your computer, your phone, and DVDs. Using an online cloud service is a way to safeguard your precious memories from loss, theft, and damage. You can access it from any computer that has a internet connection, any device that has internet connections. Most services will automatically upload photos from your phone, but for older physical prints, you need to digitize and upload them. It just requires a lot of upfront work. Cloud services like Copy by Barracuda Networks, Box, Flickr, OneDrive, Dropbox, and Google Drive offer free limited storage. They differ in how they let you edit, organize, view, and share your photos. You can go to Google Plus and crop and auto enhance and all of those things. Dropbox recently introduced its carousel feature for photos, touting the ability to easily view and privately share pictures that span your life. What's amazing is I have my whole life in there. So I have photos from this morning going all the way back to photos from when I was a baby. You start by getting all the photos from your phone and then you can get photos from everywhere in there just by dragging and dropping them into your Dropbox folder and then they all show up beautifully organized in this timeline. It's like having your whole life in your pocket. And then we also make it really easy to privately share these photos, which is such a hassle today. Microsoft's OneDrive is another option. You install OneDrive, you check a box, and every photo you take is automatically put up in the cloud. So if you lose your phone, you don't lose your photos. Regardless of the service, it's always smart to back up your backup. If it's something really important, buy your own hard drive and back it up manually. Use multiple cloud services if you want to. For more on cloud storage services, visit CNET.com. In San Francisco, I'm Cario Suboy, CNET.com for CBS News.